Do y'all hear that? They're coming for you guys. <laughs> Before we get into Tri Beauty Box April Box, we're gonna talk about shades and hues. They sent me this beautiful wig, and yes, I'm spilling the bag, y'all, because it smells really good. Also, the bag is super cute. I love the packaging and how she branded everything. Really adorable. So in the bag, I got a wig cap. The wig cap came with two caps, and then I also got a really beautiful blinged out happy clip. And I also got some hairpins to pin my wig. And it was really dope too. She also created like a nice silk head tie that's also branded with her brand Shades and Hues. And this is the wig, y'all. Oh my god, I absolutely love it. It's magenta. It has shades of like magentas in it, purples, some silvers up in it. The hairline is plucked. The everything is just perfect part is plucked perfectly and it's a really nice like deep wave i would say like a deep wave unit absolutely love it okay so next i'm going with lace tint spray i'm going to tint my lace so that way it matches my skin tone perfectly and get that proper melt and to speed up the drying process i'm going to blow dry it and then i'm going to take some scissors and cut off the lace and now it's time to install this wig it is time for some got to be glue spray and this is how I always put my units on. I always like to start with the middle, spray that down and then start spraying down the sides and the ear tabs and everything. This wig fit perfectly. Like I didn't have to cut no ear tabs or around my ears or anything. It was literally just made perfectly for my head and she didn't even know my measurements. So I'm really impressed by this. And I'm just using a comb just to really press in that lace into my skin. And then I'm gonna use her beautiful silk scarf just to wrap my hair so that way the lace really melts into my skin. And then I'm gonna do my makeup. So my makeup is all done. And right now I'm just taking my detangler brush. I'm just brushing through the hair. And then I'm going to take some water in a water bottle and spray the hair so that way I can define its curl pattern a lot more. And I'm gonna just use my hands as a finger comb it as well. And then I'm gonna take some mousse and I'm just gonna like use a mousse to define the curls and to slick it down a little bit more. And now it's time to sw 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 swoop them baby hairs, y'all. My favorite part. My favorite part. And then I'm just, you know, making sure I'm going with some got to be glue spray. Just spraying down any parts of the lace that I feel like needs to be more blended. And there you have it. Like, what? Makeup looking cute. Hair looking cute. And now it's time to go into the Try Beauty Box review, y'all. Hey guys, so I finished the install of this wig. This wig I got from Shades and Hues. Make sure you follow them on Instagram. She actually custom colored this wig. If you guys can't tell, it has like different shades of pink, light purple, grays in here as well. So it's really, really dope. The unit fit perfectly on my head. All I did was just tint the lace. I didn't have to cut any ear tabs. It fit perfectly. I love the color and this wig was very easy to work with, so I love it. So today we're going to be talking about Tribe Beauty Box. Um, they sent me a box for the month of April. I believe the cutoff date for the month of April, for the month for the April box was a few days ago. But I'm still going to do a review on it because I love Tribe Beauty Box and they're also a Canadian brand. So you all know that I love to front my Canadians because I'm Canadian. A. And <laughs> so I just want to talk about the products that I used to create this look. Okay, so first I want to... But you can hear yourself dragging. <laughs> you thought you were quiet. Did you really think you were quiet? So I just want to talk to you guys about Try Beauty Box. So Try Beauty Box is a bi-monthly subscription of beauty products. Hey guys, I also wanted to add that in every box you will receive five plus items worth over $125, which includes one face product, one skin prep product, one eye product, one lip product, one tool, and one surprise product. So every other month or every two months, you get a box of goodies. Each box usually has a theme, like for April, it was baby dolls. Everything was really girly and pink and fun. And a cool tip about Tri Beauty Box, they are Canadian and black owned. So you guys know that means a lot to me because I really do love 
promoting Canadian brands, especially especially Canadian black owned brands because you know we don't get much love here in Canada. And I, I had the pleasure of being the owner a couple of months ago. She was really sweet and awesome. So thank you Tribe V Box for sending me this product. Um, I also want to say you guys make sure you subscribe to the subscription. It's it's fun. It's makeup. It's a great way to try out products that you would never think of trying. Like I would never think thought about trying this lip gloss or trying this lip liner or anything like that so every time i get a box it's always something new and exciting for me to try out from brands that i never heard about and i just like i said like i said it also pushes my artistry too so for me to use products i know i've never tried before but to create a look with it is also very exciting too and this is the artist in me so if you guys always want to try something new fun and exciting i definitely get to try beauty box it's an awesome way to just try products that are out there in the beauty in the beauty community the Tri Beauty box for the month of April was called Baby Doll. So everything was very pink and girly and fun. That's why I thought using this pink wig would be perfect for this look. And I did bows because I thought it would be girly and work with the whole Baby Doll theme. So I want to talk about the first product that came from the Tri Beauty box in the month for the month of April. And it was the Rose Period Palette by Suva Beauty. I'm going to open it up to show you guys how it looks like inside as well beautiful shades of pinks and purples you got a bit of um, oranges like peaches absolutely love this palette so for um i use the colors uh purple rose floral sicily and apothecary i hope i said that right apothecary to create this uh ribbon look that you see this bow look if you guys know i've been into the whole ribbon bow look situation so i decided to create something really girly and dainty and they also give me a little pamphlet and it says that the rose period palette is directly inspired by pablo picasso's rose period a time in which picasso heavily used uplifting pinks and orange hues in his paintings so that's why the palette has that beautiful shades of pink and purples and oranges. So that's what I use on my eyes. And I absolutely love how it turned out. The palette was really, really pigmented, super easy to work with. I had no problem blending everything out. And I definitely love this palette. And I love Super Beauty too. So next we're going to move on to the highlighter. And this is a Net 69 highlighter by Beauty Creations. And I'm wearing it right now. I love the shimmer. I love it. It's like a gold, but a little bit more champagne-y, but I absolutely still think it's really pretty. And it definitely ties this look together. So I'm going to open it up so you guys can see how it looks like. So I'm going to read to you what it says. The perfect highlighter for any shade, buildable, blinding, and golden. Get over the interdull blues and get ready to shine all spring and summer long. So I love it. It was easy to blend. It was nice and pigmented. I, you definitely can build it up if you want to. You can add more if you want more blending. You can add less to have a more natural look. I kind of did a little in between. I like when I get that pow, that little mm glow. So I like that a lot. So it was actually a really cute highlighter. I would definitely be using it in a lot more looks because I really like it. So the next product, I actually didn't get to try this yet, but it is the, I hope I say this right, the Cognac or Cognac sponge. I'm going to open it up for you. I didn't get to use it yet because um, I have a very like strict skincare routine. So I just want to make sure before I use it that it's okay for me to use and add it to my regimen. This is how it looks like. You get like two little sponges. I'm gonna to read to you what it's about. It says the, con the Cognac Facial Cleansing Sponge acts as a gentle exfoliator, rubbing off dead skin cells in the most delicate manner. While it is natural fiber, while its natural fibers effectively simultaneously cling dirt and makeup away from your skin, wipes off stubborn traces of makeup on your face, treats clogged pores, acne, resulting in smoother and clearer complexion, acts as a gentle cleanser exfoliator to make skin look more radiant. So I definitely want to give it a try. Um, from what I can tell, it's nothing that's going to really irritate my skin. If you guys know that I just, um, it's been about a year since I've been off of Accutane, so I'm trying the best to follow my skincare regimes because we do not want to go back to how my face used to be uh, a little over a year ago. But this definitely sounds really interesting and I am dry skin and I definitely need to exfoliate a little bit more. Do y'all hear that? 
they're coming for you guys so next we okay next we have the rose quartz lip pump by skin chemist right here and I like this gloss. It had like a very plumping, like peppermint feel to it. And I definitely feel like it gave me a nice juicy look. And I love about it that it's not sticky. Like you would think it's sticky, it's actually not sticky. It's very like light and watery texture. And I love the way it just like melted onto my lips. And I obviously used a lip liner that came with the tri box. And it just blended the lip liner and the gloss together created this really pretty color. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the rose quartz. Lip Plump, the Rose Quartz Lip Plump can give you a fuller pout without the pain and commitment offered by fillers. The Lip Plump is designed to hydrate the lips while actively boosting them for a fuller pout. Leave them soft and lightly glossy. I definitely feel it is not too heavy, not too thick. I, I'm a thick gloss girl, but I also like I do appreciate light glosses too. So I definitely love how this looks on my lips and how it gives me that really beautiful plump and shine. Um, other things about it, it um, with the key vol, vol, volup, I hope I said it right, derived from the Kiss Me Quick plant, the Lip Plump aims to stimulate the production of hyaluronic acid, producing an active plumping effect. Circulation of the blood to the surface of the lip is further enhanced by peppermint oil producing a fuller pout. So that's why I said you felt a little bit of tingliness is because of the peppermint. So I actually love it and it wasn't painful. There's some plumpers I've tried that are really painful, but this one was really amazing to use. So the last product in the box was the two times lip definer liner by Mirabella Beauty. So it was a very pretty like pink purple color. I'm gonna actually swatch it on the back of my hand so you guys can see how it looks like. It's a really pretty purple color, like a magenta color. I shouldn't say purple, more magenta, a magenta color. I lined my lips with it first and then I went in with the Rose Quartz Lip Plump and it kind of melted and created this really pretty lip color which I actually love. First I was like, ooh. But then when everything started melting together, I'm like, ooh, this is nice. So a little bit about the lip pencil. Smooth pencils that outline lips or works as an all over lip color. The shade is, the shade is, let me make sure I say the shade. The shade is called Smart. So I'm wearing a Smart lip liner with this to create this look. Also, I also got some lashes from Lash Scoop. Fun fact, Lash Scoop is also a subscription box owned by Tri Beauty Box. And this time you get five pairs of lashes delivered to you monthly for only $11.99 USD plus free shipping. And the lashes are cruelty free and vegan. Lash Scoop, and um, I got multiple styles. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the styles. This is, this is Excuse Me Miss. This one is Queen Shit. Next we have Sparkle. And then we have B. And I am wearing the style Sweetie on my eyes, which I love it because it's nice and fluffy. And I love how like um, lashes like have that flare at the end. I'm definitely into like that little flare. And it wasn't too aggressive or too loud that you can still see all the work that I did on my eyes. So guys, that was my little review about the Tri Beauty Box. Give me a thumbs up if you want me to review more boxes, more makeup looks, any wigs. If you guys really love this look, I could do a tutorial for you. So let me know if you really want a tutorial for this bow look that I did. But I want to say thank you to Shades and Hues for sending me this wig. I absolutely love it. And I want to give a shout out to Tri Beauty Box for sending me their April 2020 baby doll box. It's such a girly box. I love every product in it. And I definitely need to feel like a baby doll. I look like a doll. My mom said I look like a, like a little Barbie right now. <laughs> and I actually really love this. So guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Comment down below if you would love to try um, some of the products from this box or if you would like to subscribe to Try Beauty Box. Make sure you guys follow me on my social media handles. It's your girl Zay Bebe. It was nice talking to you guys. See you guys later. Bye.